Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder. Today we are going to talk about, no, not Dratini. We're going to talk about Dragonite, Dratini's evolution. But on his own, he's only one MP, and I find for using him in league play, one MP is just not going to cut it. He is like Charmeleon into Charizard or uh, Pulpitar into Tyranitar, where if you can evolve him, he gains one MP. So we're going to start off with Dratini. We're going to take him straight into league play because I think, and we, we, depending on how this goes, we might even back all the way down to Dratini and try to work all of our way all the way up to Dragonite because going from Dratini into Dragonite makes Dragonite an absolute beast. And going from Dratini into Dragonite gives him the extra MP, but he's not quite as strong. Still formidable. And, and like I've said earlier, he's not game changing. So if you're thinking getting your Dragonite in the Dragon Gym Cup is going to give you one of the very best Pokemon in the game, I don't necessarily think that's the case, but I definitely want to put him to the test. I'm using him. I think I think he's a very serviceable Pokemon, and you could do a lot worse. He's got gold. He's got purple. He's got white. So he's got a lot going for him. That being said, I put together a, a team here, and I want to pick and choose my battles. So I'm actually going to start off with Shepet. The reason why I'm taking him into battle here and not in league uh, gym cup play is while he gains the one MP for being a dragon in the, the cup, I don't find him, um, it's a lot harder to evolve him because so many Pokemon have that 20 buff. In league play, you're going to be able to find runners like this here. So we're going to go right after him. We're going to double chance. Like I was saying, in league play, you can usually find a runner or two to try to sucker punch. And beautiful. get your evolutions where you're not really, because so many super strong dragons are now runners in the cup. Evolving him is significantly more difficult. So there we go. Look at this. Try to show this. 60, two star purple. I have the 101 because I have both the Dragonites from the gym. So that's why he has the one chain level already, not because of any other reason. So let's just you know what? Let me set up a little bit of a defense here. I'm actually going to shoot Flygon up the lane. Let me just set up a little bit of a defense. And then we're going to go after Mr. Shuppet over here. We're going to get Dragonite. His first bit of action. Poliwhirl's actually pretty decent against them. Um, set up one more line of defense. If you guys are doing the, the Dragon Gym Cup, have you gotten to the 35 wins yet? Do you have that first Dratini or Dragonite? And if so, are you using him? Let's see how he fares. He's got good coverage over Shuppet. Damn. Shuppet's down and out. So what's good about him is what I also like about Zapdos in that he's got a little bit of everything going on. And so, aside from the dodge, I mean, we've got a two-star purple, 101, 60. The difference is the white and the gold are switched. Typically your gold, 101 is very handy, don't get me wrong. 
I mean, no, do I have a heart? I do have a heart of jump. Very interesting. What do I want to do? I could close off his entry point. If I go there, I could potentially get surrounded. I'm going to just back flag on up. Having a 101 gold gives you the opportunities to have a lot of spins that other Pokemon just cannot beat. Whereas a 101 white, sometimes the purple is going to be able to take that down. So in that regard, I think Zapdos still has the advantage over an Evolved Dragonite. If we can get another spin like that, no 120. And that is why I typically run Metagross when I go into league play. Just too many of league play, once you get the Masters, have either Deoxys or Reuniclus. I will say, without getting into too much about politics of the game and this and that, the Deoxys is bad for the game simply because... Aside from the Deoxys, there is a ton of diversity and you can construct and build teams in so many different ways and you see so many different Pokemon being useful. But then you get the Deoxys and if people have them, there's no reason to do anything other than Deoxys. And I think that's bad for the game. And that's all that I'm going to say about that. I think, no. Um... Anyway, the Reuniclus is, it is what it is. It's, yeah, they're bad. They're, if you, you get them apart, they're not world beaters. They're very good individually. 120 and 50 is super nice. Um, I'm not even paying attention to what I'm doing here. I don't know why Shuppet is all the way out there. Let's go play goalie. Very disappointed about Dragonite getting knocked out here. As you can see, he has the one MP buff. Normally he'd be one. Two, he's useful. One, I don't think he's really all that useful at one. Um, I'm probably gonna get flyaway here. I don't know if he wants me to fly away or not. I guess he does. Okay. And then I'm going to take his entry point, which should force. I, I honestly, I'm not even paying attention strategy wise to what's going on here. Um, I do know that I had his entry points closed off. I don't know how I feel about it at this point. No, he doesn't like it. I actually like Poliwhirl. He's a good counter. Not... Uh, that's actually pretty decent for Ralts. Glaceon could get not knocked out. That would have been so much better. Um, what does he have? Hurl jump, goal block, long throw. You know what? I don't even honestly know if I have enough moves to do this. But I'm going to try to get him to spin over to that 30 something. And I didn't really want to hypnotize him. That was, I was actually going for the knockout there. So that sucks. Um, Zapdos, I do have the one is going to have to win a battle. That's all there is to that. And... I forgot what I had a cool Hopefully he lands on Imprison or Miss. That works. Zapdos is still going to have to win a battle. I'm going to have to fight on my next turn here. 
because he's going to bring Uniclus over. And if my Zapdos can knock out his Zapdos, I believe that's going to be game over for him. Don't quote me on that because I haven't done the math to figure it out yet. But that was not the spin we were looking for. And that's going to be ball game where you're going to lose this one. But we did get Dragonite. And I'm not sure. I know I've lost the league match previous to this one. And so I'm not sure if that was my second or third loss. Like I kind of hope it was my third. If it, And in fact, I'm going to say that it was my third and then I'm playing Bugbot next. And then, and in preparation for that, I'm going to edit out my deck. And I'm going to put Dratini in. Not Dratini. I'm going to put, yeah, Dratini in his full evolution line to see if we can't make that work. So we're going to put Dragonair. And that's how you do the evolutions if you didn't know. You pick the one that you want and it'll have these little dots underneath it here and then you tap on the dots and it'll show you what the evolutions are possible that's how you do that let's go back to league play and Dratini is actually not the worst Pokemon to try to evolve even as a as a, a three-stage evolution usually they're really pretty tough he's actually not that bad because he does have the purple that displaces the opponent i believe i covered that in my video several days ago about the easiest evolutions is you want to find one that's purple that displaces opponents and we have an opponent and that wasn't my third loss in a row and again, just like with Dratini, I'm going to have to use, um, uh, with Dragonair, I'm going to have to use Dratini to find a runner to try to take advantage of. I'm looking at Yu Mew. I'm looking at Pulpitar and his 50. Definitely going to have to use a plate on that. Oh, it's my turn. Wait, am I going first? I pay attention. So once again, I'm not, I am going to just drop Shuff It right here. I typically don't run Shuff It unless I'm doing a video or where he compliments whatever I'm trying to do in the video. I think Shuff It's a nice character. He creates a lot of problems. And I think that, well, that guy's got him leveled up to five because there's no mess anywhere on there. So we're going to put Zapdos on him. Um, opponents have to be aware of where Shepard is on the board at all times. And from that respect, I think that makes him a great, a great um, runner. All right. Now, you know, I typically don't like early, early aggression. I, 51. But oh, this, is a, this is a rough one. We're going to go ahead and X attack. But since I'm doing the video on evolving into Dragonite, I feel like I have to take the opportunity to show you how to get to Dragonite. Uh, wow. Dratini just threw down 111 attack, completely wasted. <laughs> Very unfortunate there. I don't even know what he has. Um, wow, no hurdle jumps. That's very bizarre. Okay, so now Mew thinks he wants a little bit of this. And he's gonna get it because Dratini's gonna miss. So you do run a much higher risk. Is he level five? He's not level five, you guys know how much I love Poliwhirl into a non-level 5 Mew. And again, I'm just being super aggressive here because 
We have a good shot there. And if I'm running Shuppet, I probably should have gone in and changed my plate to do the swap spot. But that's another video. This video was about Dratini, Dragonite, and now he's sitting on the bench. So that's actually a nice, it's actually a really nice wheel to go after with Poliwhirl. What you want to look for is the biggest slice. It looks like it's probably the 50 there. And two away. No, so I'd just make it fly away. So never mind. Maybe not the best matchup. Um, honestly, don't even know what we're doing here. You don't want to use Flygon near your goal or as a goalie because he's always a threat to fly away. Um, which means in this situation, either Poliwhirl, probably more, most likely Zapdos is going to end up being my goalie. I can't believe you never brought Pulpitar out. So... Being really aggressive, I'm going to go ahead and throw Caution to the Wind here. Fly away. If he has long throw on the dead man. Okay. Just bring in. I'm not. There are people who are really good with Shuppet. I'm not really good with Shuppet because, like I said, I don't use him a whole lot. But I do think I can put some pressure on. I'd imagine he has to take Moltres. Okay. Um, actually, Glacial might be my best defender. Oh, what to do? 40 to 50. He's going to be Rainbow Wing. I don't really want him back there. So have you guys... Are you guys using Dratini? Are you trying to get the full evolution? Do you have the Dragonite? Which one do you prefer? I, I, I feel like... He's pretty easy to evolve out of i'm gonna go ahead and take this because i have such a big gold slice on a purple and he has so many purple i feel like dragon air to dragonite is pretty doable it, it's it might be one of the easier ones to evolve that doesn't use a purple to do the evolution but let me know what you guys think Are, have you been having any success evolving are you disappointed and this could be bad news. But are you disappointed with Dragonite? Did you think he should have been stronger? If we get another spin like that, I'd be super happy. No. Which, again, no hurdle jumps. I don't have the easy surround. I have to put him on my goal point. I normally would like to just drop him right here, um, but I can't because then if he attacks and rolls Rainbow Wing again, he lands on my goal. Um, but moving right here would have been nice because then I would set up this round if I could just pull Zapdos back one. That being said, didn't happen, so get that out of the way. But yeah, leave in the comments. Let me know. Dragonite. You like him, you use him. Underrated. Garbage. Does he have a place in your deck? Does he not? Let me know. And we are going to... It's probably not going to go for this, but we're going to set up this round. Because I don't like him threatening. I guess this will probably jump down. Okay. 
Now we're hoping for flyover because that creates an easy surround. Or the freaks. I like that too. That's what makes Glaceon such a threat. Now. Gonna block that off. One thing that when your opponent is frozen, <laughs> and I did learn this out the hard way, when your opponent is frozen, he can still hurdle jump or anything of that nature. And it's very much not cool when you think, oh, yay, he's frozen. I don't have to worry about him. And then he hurdle jumps onto your goal and wins anyways. This may not be a really good matchup. Okay. I guess he's going to roll that more times than he's not going to roll that. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take Flygon. I do have a double chance and a hurdle jump. How do I want to do this? My goal is to take Flygon here, hop over Moltres, and then bring Shuppet up to there. Just don't know how I want to go about doing this. We will go for, because Moltres has no gold. So we're going to go for the double chance on the flyaway. Ooh, wait. One, two, three. That would be bad. Okay, well, that was a misplay on my part. I should have counted before. Maybe I can get Draco meter. I think that's our better bet. Oh, he got roost. Okay, well, he's going to take Pulpitar. He's probably going to bring him back to here. It'd be smarter to bring him all the way back to there. Very interesting. I didn't see what to do. I think it was double chance. He got bailed out. Okay, so... And, and my, my strategy and movements on this probably isn't the most fundamentally sound for this game. Ooh, Draco meter. Who do I want to get rid of? Oh, you know what? We're gonna spin, make him spin and hope he gets a white. Oh, goodness. Oh, well. That's okay because we've got the victory anyway. So unfortunately I wasn't able to get Dratini all the way up to Dragonite. In fact, I didn't even get Dratini to Dragonair. Where are we going here? Oh, look at that. Shuppet is going to get the victory. So it, it does take a little bit more to get Dratini all the way up. I would definitely go after a runner. It's a very high risk. Very high reward, a 110 attacking, or 111 if you have a chain level on him. Attacking Dragonite is, is pretty filthy. There's not a lot that's going to be able to take him down. So, mm, Rainbow Booster. So, play around. See what you think. Let me know what you think. I'm going to continue to use him. I think he's a, a good Pokemon. I think he serves a nice role in the game. I'm just not sure that getting him all the way from three evolutions is, is going to pay off enough times to make it worthwhile. But this is a conversation. I want you guys to continue it. I want you to let me know, do you think the risk is worth the reward? And until next time, guys. Okay, so I know I said that we were done, but we're going to not be done just yet. I do have enough energy to play a Dragon Gym Cup. So I'm going to just jump right in here with the Dratini. Sorry, the Dragonair. Try to get him evolved. 
and cup play because he does have the extra MP and a three MP Dragonite is is pretty deadly in this game. Now I could totally get run over. Um, I honestly don't even remember what what team I have. Um, Reshram, Zekrom. Oh boy. All right, so talk about counter decks to the round. Let's see. Oh boy, do we have... Okay. So we have Ralts and the Imprison could be very valuable. Um, ba -ba do I have... I have one hurdle jump. Oh man, what does he have? One hurdle jump, a scoop up. All right, we're gonna, normally I would have put Fire Brava over there in the lane, but this is a video for Dragonite. We're gonna try to get him some love here. This should induce some action. And because he used Wigglytuff, I can't use a plate at all. You know what? Let's go for it. <laughs> what is a Dragonite video if we don't get Dragonite? And we're not going to get Dragonite. Um, what do we want to do here? I have no good plays. I wonder why he bumped up the 41. That's interesting to me. I, I bumped up the 70 because 71 is much more likely to happen. All right, we are going for, and this is hyper aggressive. We are going for imprisonment. I hope he rolls around. Ever have those games where you feel like no matter what you spin, it's not a positive outcome for you? Um. Like, all I want to do is roll in prison and him not hit dodge. Instead, we're going to get garbage and garbage, garbage in, garbage out, I guess is the saying. Um, and I will tell you, my biggest frustration in this game is when... Let me go for the aggression. When you're trying to knock out a Pokemon... And you cannot get, this is going to leave a status effect, so that's good. This is, this game is pretty much already over because I haven't won a battle yet. Like, I've rolled and they hit dodge, or I roll and I lose. <clears throat> and I hate when I spin and spin and spin and they just keep rolling a dodge, or... I roll a non-effective purple. It just, we're just, we're going after Dragonite here. We are trying to get a Dragonite on this show. Yes. <laughs> so there, when I talked about counters, having something that leaves a status effect is a good Pokemon to use. Um, obviously the, these dragons are, are Reshram and Zekrom are really good. I can't use a plate. And I wouldn't, I don't recommend just going guns a-blazing. But we are trying to land gold on his purple. Um, but yeah, I know that these dragons are really good dragons, but there are plenty of other Pokemon that leave 
status effects like burn or um, paralyze, things of that nature. Those can be really effective at countering. Ooh. That can be countering the this obscenely strong. What do we have going on here? Give me a second here, because if I hurl jump over to here, he's going to take that to there, which leads me to get surrounded. Smarter play is probably to bring him out. The worst play would be to. I don't really love anything that has fly being near the goal. It doesn't work well. So he went ahead and blocked off my ability to use a plate. Um, knocking him out, if it's even possible, wouldn't do me any good. Uh, I don't know guys, what do you think? Do you think? No. Because hitting sightseeing would be terrible. Because then I'd either go there or there, and that would be a lose. So I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to close this off. There's really no reason to do that, other than just to do it. And he's going to continue to block my ability to use a plate. He has this hurdle jump still. Should we go up and try to get confusion? There's a terrible reason to attack, but maybe if I can get confusion. Wow. The Sylveons are rolling dodges like it's their job at the moment. I've used up so much time, and he just doesn't want me to use <laughs> plates. By Brave is good because I'm very disappointed with Vibrabas today. They not just today, but in general. Because I cannot get mine to land on the confused and just like I can't get Ralts to land on Imprisoned. How how big is that on his wheel? It's, eh, I guess it's about 50-50. All right. If I go here... Actually, he has 3 MP. I can just go all the way over and knock him out. Although I really don't want to bring another round in. It was bad enough. Here we go. What is he doing? So that's 40, 120. I'm at 101. X attack. Dragonite. And this is, this is not sound strategic play, guys. <laughs> Make no doubt about that. It's, it's not the most sound. Wait. Oh no, I didn't. I thought I used X attack. I was so happy there. I meant to, you heard me say to do the X attack. I did the math. I cannot believe I did double chance. That was not what I was trying to do. That was the dumbest best strategy I've done Oh, sorry guys. Very upset at myself at the moment. Oh, I can't believe that. That was perfect. That was exactly what I wanted to happen. Right up to the point where I realized why didn't I get the plus 30. Man, 
Dragonite, I let you down this time, buddy. You did your end of the deal. Like, even if I'd have done the sightseeing, I'd have landed here, and he just surrounded me anyway. So, the second I didn't do the, um, the X attack, I lost that battle. <sighs> he still have, how do you still have a hurdle jump this late in the game? Is, is this round match looking like many of your round matches? Is it just a struggle to get them to... Honestly, I feel like the round deck with a double chance is like every Deoxys deck that I go against. And the fact that it's... Even when you get a good spin, you know they're going to respin into something that you is not a good spin for you. I will say, I feel like they're rolling a lot more dodges than normal. I'm down under a minute. What else is new? He's going to bring him here or there. I'm going for imprisonment. I'm going to do this. No, I'm not. I cannot get that. I don't even know if I have the evolution set up on roll. Oh, I do. Okay. That's okay. We got Dragonite coming back in. This time, given the opportunity. Oh. See, so he doesn't want me to use plates. We're going to bounce Wiggly back and forth and back and forth. I'm going to go ahead and jump down here. Now, if he does it again. I'm going to attack here, hope for fly, land on his goal. Oh, he's so smart. Um, what do we do now? We don't have a whole lot of time to be thinking about this. Overdrive. Can't use. Just go for the attack here. This is kind of a Hail Mary prey. Oh, I wish Zek Zekrom would have been in the game there. That would have been an elimination. Um, overdrive. Yes. You. Yes. You. Running out of time. No! <laughs> Just a little short. 13 seconds. Doesn't leave me much. All right, let's do it right this time. I think he has a more powerful attack, though. And it did not matter. So that's going to be the game. Um, actually hung in there pretty decent considering I was doing no strategy. Again, I, I can't, my guy doesn't have supersonic. It's not even on his wheel, quite honestly. Maybe I can hit it while I'm confused because I can't hit it any other time. God, how great would that be? To knock him out here, somehow get a hurl jump onto the goal. <laughs> Like I said, I can't hit sightseeing. So anyway, that was Dragonite. I hope you got to see a little bit of his usefulness. He would have been super productive if there wasn't a user error at the beginning. And we're just gonna see if you can't, nope. Um, early in the game, if, if it hadn't been for user error, he'd have been a lot more productive. So I hope you enjoyed this one. 
I hope you like what the Dragon Gem Cup is providing. And until next time, this time for real, until next time, we'll catch you later.